Hello everyone. Today we're going to cover a very important topic of how to include files in your project. The reason this is important is because when this project gets sent to another file location, for instance, you send you upload it to a server or in this case for the class you're going to be sending it over to me you need to make sure to include any files and keep it contained within the project. So an easier way to understand that is let's click this folders button here and take a peek at where the project's actually saved here. So this is the Visual Studios kind of I'm struggling to find the exact, a good word to describe it. They call it project properties. Um, but this is the, the physical folder where everything's being saved. And this is kind of Visual Studio's programming uh, insight into how it's working. But let's look at the physical folder structure here. Because this is where we need to save our files whenever we're adding files to our project. In this case, we're going to be adding an image. So when I add an image here, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to add a folder. You could just drop the image into this base folder, but I would like personally to create an images folder. My images folder is blank. That's fine. We're going to add an image. So I have one selected here. Let's add this image here. Should be able to just drop and drag like that. Should be pretty pretty simple. Bam. So, so that'll be our image. We're gonna we're gonna use that one for our form here. And now that this image is saved in the project, wherever this project goes, so we can look at this in File Explorer. I'm right clicking and I'm gonna open that project up. File Explorer. It created this images folder physically right here. So this would be another way to do it. You don't have to drop and drag into the project like I did. You can just drop into this folder. But here's our project folder. This is what we will be zipping up. We can close that. We don't need that anymore. So there's our image. So the picture box control is pretty simple. I'm just going to drop it on here. Gonna need to be pretty big as you saw our image was really big. Click this little arrow over here, or you could also work with the properties on the right hand side. Image here. Uh, we would import from our project here. These are the assignment photos. Let's go to images here. So now it's going to upload this image. It's going to import this image. We don't need the rest of that image. We're just going to leave that. That makes the point. There we go. We, we're linking to this image now. Now wherever this image, wherever this project folder goes, the image will go with it which is very important because if I don't bring this picture with it, whenever this project gets opened somewhere else, whether it's whether I open it on my machine or you send it to a server like AWS, you might have AWS hosting your data in a future project that you work on. If you don't include the file, they won't be able to see the file, they'll be able to use the file. Uh, and then the picture box here uh, has a lot of events similar to a button. So I mean this double click here, this is a click event just like a button. So this could be used just like a button. But yeah, that's it. That's all we need to really discuss for 
images being uploaded into a file. This is also true for other files. So whether it be a text file or any file, definitely create a files folder or images folder within your project for any future files that you need to bring in and work with it in that contained directory. Try not to pull outside of the directories because when you work within the project, then the project can move as a unit somewhere else. Okay, that, that covers everything and thanks for watching.